at a world stage, it's probably a height that she would have to clear if she wants to get into medals and be in that conversation. So why not? It probably is going to go up by 10. Why it? not do it now? Why yeah. not get that practice in, get that mindset set where you're, once you get to that point in Tokyo, you're like, well, I've done this before. I've been at this position. Do it in a moment where you're in form, you're in front of an Australian crowd. Yeah, you'll never have more people in front of you in Australia while you're attempting a national record while the men's and women's 100 meter national finals are on. Everyone is hustling for a seat. If you didn't already have a seat, what were you thinking? Where were you? What were you doing? Well, she actually moved the uprights just up too, so I don't know if that was to get the measurement right and they'll move them back, but we'll, we'll see very shortly. So the women's 100 meter runners last out on the track warming up, getting set for their 100 meter final. There's plenty in tonight. The stadium is full. The trackside bar is well populated, I would say. Fires out, the lights shows are on. Everyone is here. There's about three or four different TV channels all in the mix zone down there as well. And they've been treated to a show on the track and in the field. Up for this event in two New South Wales Monique Quirk, three New South Wales Christy Edwards, four Queensland Na Anang, five from Victoria Anna Bassick, six from Queensland Bree Masters, seven from Victoria Sophia Figuera, eight from Western Australia Ka Taylor Cruttenden, and nine from Victoria Ebony Lane. Bassick went. 11.29 in the semi-finals. Remasters 11.47 for a new personal best. So she's in shape. But the question is, can anyone match or catch Hannah Bassick? She's got everything that the others have individually. The fast start, yeah, got that. Oh, you, you got a good finish? Yeah, got that too. Middle, got it as well. She's the fourth fastest runner in Australian history now. So the meet record's 11.23, 2007 from Sally Pearson. Put that go. It's a chance, it's a chance. Honestly, after, you know, we thought the track might have slowed down a little bit, but then Hannah ran 11.29 and then Ryan ran 10.18. And then we're like, well, maybe it didn't slow down. Maybe it got faster. So, a couple of ones to watch the speed that Figuera finished with mm. in her semi final to come over the top of Ebony Lane, who is a brilliant starter. Figuera, super strong in the final stages. Can't count out our defending champion, Na Anang. Can she defend her title? Crowd is silent. All eyes on the start. Good start there on the outside by Lane in the middle. Hannah Basic, she starts to move now. Bree Masters trying to come after it, but Basic way too strong and she's going to take a win here. 11 2 4. 11-2-4 on the clock. It could be rounded down Drop to a new down. meet record. Hannah Bassick, she gets her title. Do it. Equal 11-23. Nah. So she'll share that record with Sally Pearson. Who set it back in 2007. Bree Masters second, 11-51. And Nah and Nang gets onto the podium, 11-62. Oh, you love to see it. 11.23, that's the calibre of Hannah Bassett right now. You put her, you literally have to now put her 
side by side with Sally Beers because they are now officially. Yep. In terms of national titles, that's it. That is fantastic effort. Three masters, she's rounding herself back into some fantastic form. Back to back, a PB and then a medal, and to see Nara Nang, just to see Nara back on the track racing, but now to even pick up a medal. And again, Brie, it's hard to say, was Basic start so good? Did Brie get left behind? She did well to come home really fast, and how did Nara Nang quirk fighting hard, and I the, couldn't pick the rest of them. Well, you could see Basic, once Brie Masters got up and running, her and Bassett were actually going stride for stride in the last 30 metres, sort of maintaining that distance between them. So it's the start of Bassett that is so impressive. And she's able to finish them as well. Surely Rowan Browning, as he's walking around to the start line, watching that event, he's looking at it going, cool, I can go fast here. Well, he's got a pretty tough meet record to beat. It's 10.08. And there's the final results there for that women's 100 metres. Hannah Bassett, 11.23. Bree Masters, 11.51. Nara Nang, 11.62. And we're going to throw down to Tamsin, who's got the winner.